Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys five tips to avoid getting into a weight loss plateau. I get so many questions all the time basically on how I would break out of a weight loss plateau when I lost weight or how to get out of a weight loss plateau. So I just wanted to make today's video to basically give you my five top tips on what I would do and what you should do in order to avoid getting into a weight loss plateau in the first place. And also if you feel like you are starting to get into a weight loss plateau or you are in a weight loss plateau these five tips will help you get out of it or avoid it so that's what today's video is i hope you guys find today's video helpful if you do i would really really appreciate it if you left a like and if you haven't already consider subscribing click the bell button so you get a notification every time i upload if you don't know who i am and this is the first video of mine you're watching hello my name is louise i used to be obese i weighed 269 pounds and i basically lost 120 pounds within I would say the first seven months my weight loss was pretty plain sailing I didn't really hit a plateau until around seven months I did start to notice my weight was stalling quite a lot I did have to use these five tips that I'm going to share with you guys in order to get through that so that's why I'm sharing this today because I have been through it I know how it is like I know how frustrating it is to feel like you're you've been made so much progress and then to feel like it's stalled and not know what to do or not know like what the secret is to get out of it and that's what today's video is basically me just sharing exactly what I did and what I believe will help you to get out of that and basically I share all of my weight loss tips my health fitness muscle building all of those kind of tips uh here on youtube and uh, i basically share my journey so if you are interested in that then please join the family we would love to have you yeah before we get into the tips i just wanted to point it out because you I probably will get comments on it like what's going on with your lips i did get my lips done um so that's why they look like this they're a bit swollen and a bit bruised i personally really love them i know fillers is not for everyone and not everyone likes it but if you've got a negative comment about it let's just keep it to yourself because i don't really care it's my face my lips and i'm happy with them so that's all that matters but yeah i just thought i would show you guys i'm not telling anyone that you need to get lip fillers all right i'm not trying to sh spread that i'm just pointing out the obvious because I got them done so it's a bit obvious why right? they I'm coming on here with nice perky lips before you can see my top lip <laughs> so the first tip I have for avoiding hitting a weight loss plateau is to make sure that at first you are already tracking your progress consistently and like quite effectively if that makes sense so if you're tracking your progress through weighing yourself it's a good idea to weigh yourself about three to seven times a week so this could be like every other day spread out throughout the week or every day and make sure, making sure it's obviously at the same time basically in the morning before you've eaten or drunk or anything um, and that way you're going to see your weight consistently every single day and then you can check the average and see whether averagely you're losing weight week to week because the reason why I say weighing yourself more regularly is better than say once a week is because your weight changes day to day so you're going to have daily weight fluctuations one day you'll weigh yourself you'll be one weight and the next day you either have gained a couple of pounds or lost a couple of pounds and if you don't like know what your average weight is it's very hard to be able to tell whether you are actually in a weight loss plateau or not because you might weigh yourself one week on a low day you might weigh yourself the next week on a high day and you've actually lost body fat but it's not reflecting on the scale so it's a good idea to weigh yourself every single day and then get that average and then that way you'll be able to see whether you are hitting a weight loss plateau whether you are losing weight or gaining weight like you'll be able to accurately be able to see where you're at and track your progress accurately so that's the first tip to avoid hitting a weight loss plateau the second tip i have for you guys to avoid hitting a weight loss plateau is to make sure that you are taking measurements body measurements and pictures as a measurement of progress as well not just weighing yourself the reason why i say this is especially if you are lifting weights you can be losing body fat and it not show on the scale because you're actually building muscle at the same time so you can lose fat and build muscle at the same time if you're eating in a calorie deficit and lifting weights and if you do this and you are basically losing fat building muscle your body recomp in and the weight on the scale can basically stay the same or only go down very slowly so you won't be able to see that and if you're not taking body measurements or pictures it could be it can feel really disheartening and feel like you've not lost any weight like i've had so many people message me and they're like oh i have not lost weight in like i've been doing 
this for like four months. I've not lost any weight on the scale, but like I've lost a dress size. I, d I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And I'm like, you're not doing anything wrong. If you're down a dress size, that's amazing because you've actually lost body fat. Your body recomping, and that makes sense. Like you're building muscle and losing fat at the same time, which is like the best thing that you can do. So make sure you are taking body measurements and you are taking pictures and you are just doing that like kind of regularly, like set yourself a goal to make sure that you are like, I don't know, like every four weeks to going over those measurements. You, I don't feel like you need to like measure your waist every single day, like the same way as you would have weighing yourself. It, it will be fine to do it maybe like once every three to four weeks, but just make sure that you are taking those measurements because you don't want to feel like you're in a plateau if you're actually not in a plateau. You're losing body fat and you're just building muscle, which will make you look and feel better and be healthier and fitter. So that's what we want anyway. So yeah, that's why that's a second tip to avoid hitting a plateau because you might not even be in a plateau in the first place. And it's a good idea to just know that you like where you actually are at. The third tip that I have for you guys to avoid hitting a weight loss plateau is to track your food, your calories, accurately so one if you're not tracking your calories at all and you feel like you're hitting a plateau start tracking your calories if you're tracking your calories but you're not weighing out your food start weighing out your food if you are tracking your calories weighing out your food make sure that you're weighing out the food and tracking it as like the way it's actually cooked if that makes sense like is it baked or is it fried make sure you're accounting for all those extra calories like the oils make sure you're accounting for sauces dips those little bits of bites of food that you're not tracking that you think like doesn't really count because it's only a bite of food all of those little bits they all add up and it can easily take you out of your deficit calories so tip three is to basically avoid eating over your calories without even realizing so make sure that you are tracking accurately and you're being as precise as you can be and that way it's just going to avoid hitting a plateau where you're not actually in a plateau you're just eating calories up to maintenance basically but but they're hidden calories and you're not realizing that you aren't actually in a deficit so that's the way that you can avoid hitting a plateau a a, a plateau why don't I say ah, plateau, me? So if you're doing all three of those things, then we move on to tip number four, which is, so you're doing all three of those things and you'll still feel like you're in a plateau. You're not losing weight, you're stuck. Make sure, tip number four, is to make sure that you are being consistent in your daily movement. So when we've been like losing weight for a little while, we increase our activity, maybe we're tracking our steps, we're going out for walks, we're losing weight. Sometimes we can get a bit complacent and we start to slow down a bit, especially when you've been in a deficit for a long time, you just naturally start to slow down. You don't walk and move as much, your knee decreases, so you're not moving around as much. So make sure that you are actually keeping yourself accountable for your daily movement. This can be like with a step tracker. So make sure you're setting step goals and you're hitting them every single day. That's like the most easiest way, in my opinion, to make sure you're staying accountable with your movement, your daily movement, how many steps you're doing, is to just basically keep yourself accountable with a step tracker just because sometimes like you don't realize how inactive you've actually been for the day and it can actually surprise you. And having a step tracker will just motivate you to be like, oh, I've only got a couple thousand steps. I need to hit my 10,000 steps today, for example. Let me just quickly get up and go, go for a walk and move around more. And it will just encourage you to move around more. And obviously, so there's that that you can do to increase your daily movement, but then you can also add in some cardio. If you're not doing any cardio, it's a good idea to get about 150 minutes of moderate to intense activity a week. So obviously you've got your walk in. If you've been walking quite a lot, it's a good idea to actually be able to increase your heart rate for those 150 minutes. So you can start off small. You can only do like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, and then gradually increase. But it's a good idea to get up to 150 minutes just for your health anyway. So... If you do that and basically start adding in cardio, you will be increasing your calorie expenditure, obviously making sure your movement is up as well, um, your daily steps. That way your calorie expenditure is going to be enough to lose weight, basically. You want to be able to like decrease your calories, increase your calorie expenditure so that you are staying in a consistent deficit in order to lose weight. And that is my fourth tip, basically, to avoid hitting a plateau is to do all of those, like add in those cardio, make sure you're staying active and moving enough and walking enough and getting those steps. And if you're doing all four of those tips to avoid hitting a plateau and none of it is working, you've done all of it and you're still not losing weight, it's been a good few weeks and nothing has shifted, you're not looking different, you can tell physically your body fat is the same, the scale is staying the same, everything is staying the same, then this means, and you are literally tracking your calories to the T, you know you're eating exactly the same amount of calories as you was when you were losing weight, 
then that just means that you have probably been in a deficit for quite a while and you've lost quite a lot of body fat and your body has now adjusted to the amount of calories you have been eating in order to lose weight. And that doesn't mean that like your body just naturally adjusts to it, if that makes sense. The reason why that happens is because you're in a smaller body and that means you require less calories anyway. So like don't panic and think you've messed up your metabolism. You're just a smaller person now and you just require less energy. So what you would do in this situation, make sure you've done all four of them first. And then what you would do is you would decrease the amount of calories that you've already got. So say you're eating 1,800, decrease that by one to 200 calories. So you can either eat 1,700, 1,600. Maybe I would say it's pretty good idea to just reduce it small, a small amount at first, so like 1,600, uh, no, 1,700, and then give that a few weeks, and then reduce it to 1,600, give that a few weeks, and just see what it does to your weight. Just keep an eye on it and see whether you start to lose weight. You should eventually lose weight if you reduce your calories. Do it slowly over a longer period of time, because you don't want to do like a massive jump and then start losing weight massively quickly and then be starving, and it'll be sustainable. So just do small decreases until you start to see a steady weight loss and that you're happy with that is sustainable as well and then you you that's how you break through the plateau obviously make sure that you're increasing like your activity and being very consistent with your food eating high volume low calorie dense foods high protein diet will help as well we can't like keep reducing our calories forever if that makes sense and i have had so many people ask me like oh, i've lost this amount of weight and my calories i've ended up dropping it too much and my calories are now down to for example 1200 and i'm stuck at this and say you are stuck at 1200 calories or calorie a calorie amount that is so low and you you're starving all the time but you're not losing weight I feel like we don't want to reduce our calories even lower than that like you don't want to put yourself in that position it's just not enough food for you you need to you need to basically fix that first before you lose weight. And especially if you've been in a diet for a very long time, like obviously the more weight you have to lose, you could be in a calorie deficit for like a couple of years. So if it's been like a really long time, consider, and my advice would be to consider stopping the diet for now, stopping the calorie deficit, and gradually work on slowly, gradually increasing your calories, maybe like 50, 100 every other week, until you get your body and like, stay active, keep up the health, I'm not saying like eat eat junk food with that, no, still focus on being healthy and the, the lifestyle habits you've built in, but just gradually increase your calories until you get so basically you're maintaining, gradually increase your calories and then alongside that, if you aren't already, start lifting weights, eat a high protein diet, focus on building muscle because building muscle is going to increase your metabolism, the more muscle you have, the more metabolically active you are, the more calories your body naturally burns which will help you increase the calorie expenditure, bring your calories up and maintain that basically, building muscle, get a strong foundation and once you've maintained for a few months at least and you're in a good place, your calories are in a good place, then you can, if you've got extra body fat that you want to lose, then you can start a dieting phase again. And then I would suggest going in a very small calorie deficit and increasing your activity slowly. So like you're gradually doing it so you're not dropping all the way down again. So you just try to lose weight on the highest amount of calories possible while still basically building muscle and like maintaining your muscle mass basically and that's just my personal advice for that because you don't want to keep reducing your calories and obviously like there will be a point where you hit a calorie amount that you're like I don't really want to go any lower than this and that would be my advice for that when you hit like that kind of plateau um but yeah I hope my tips helped you it sounds like I say tits but I say tips <laughs> <laughs> don't have any of them <laughs> i have tips not tips but yeah, i hope that helped you guys and if it did i would really appreciate it if you left a like it really helps out the video i genuinely appreciate it so much leave me a comment down below let me know what tip or what point you're at or what has helped you and i hope you guys lose weight i hope you guys never have to hit a plateau but if you do now you know what to do but yeah i hope you guys have a lovely day thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye